Is there anything kind of fundamental in the way people learn or people um, imagine that comes into play when you, what, even when you're an adult, when you see puppetry? That's so kind of you to set me up on that question, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> so this comes from a chat Martha and I were having yesterday um, about a man called Ralph Winnicott. Um, you don't need to read his book, Playing in Reality, because it's quite tough going. Um, but he was a psychoanalyst who specialized in the uh, development of very small children. Um, and he identified something called the transitional object. Has anyone heard of that or know about it? Top marks over there in the front row. Um, the, tra the transitional object is essentially, you know how the way babies need a teddy bear or a blanket or a little bit of silk or whatever it is to comfort them when their mum leaves them alone? Um, he identified this and he said that in order for it to work, the child needs to simultaneously know this is not the mother and imagine that it is the mother. Um, and he discovered that if children don't go through that phase of development, they have enormous problems later on in life. Um, and he described that transitional object as being the moment at which a child begins to play. And it begins to understand what it is to pretend that something is happening when it isn't really. So it is the very beginning of theatre, and it's an absolutely fundamental stage in all of our developments. And in a way, it's a puppet, that transitional object, because the child imagines the life knowing the life not to be there. So yes, um, I think the reason that it's possible for us to imagine that a water bottle <laughs> is alive is because embedded within our own development, all of us, is that moment where we went through the stage of the transitional object. And that's what we...